I was introduced to the sport while I was in hospital in uh, Stoke Mandeville. It was after I broke my neck. And while I was there, I watched a game of wheelchair rugby being played. It was one of the first days I was actually up and about in a wheelchair, and at the time I was very weak. And I've got to the sports hall and I can hear all this commotion and noise that you expect from sport, you know, coming from the sports hall behind the, the double doors. But what I didn't expect was to open the doors and find a game where people were in wheelchairs being played. I was expecting that to be the five-a-side going on or something like that. And then, you know, the wheelchair rugby, you know, somewhere else. And I opened the doors and I had to pick my jaw up off the floor. The confidence levels and the adrenaline and the aggression off the players, there was a point where I looked at them and I realised a lot of them had worse injuries than I did. I thought to myself, you know, if they can get on with it, then, then so can I. And now, after seven or eight years of, of playing, go full circle and be captain of that team of individuals that inspired me and helped me through one of the darkest times of my life, um, is something I could never have, have imagined or, or ever expected.